Hi everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley bag of the day. Um, today I'm just doing a, a sort of a mini haul. Um, uh, sorry for the dog chewing noises. <laughs> it's like they start immediately um, when I hit the, the record button. <laughs> that sound of dog teeth on plastic, um, on, on Nyla bones. So I was just so excited to get my latest uh, sort of mini haul, which is a New Hope Girls Vera Bradley mini haul. All my pouches came in. Um, so I, you know, in the last uh, collaboration, and the, I think the pattern was Rosie Garden Picnic, I did some videos. And I'm always, people probably are used to me pulling out the zip pouch. I know I love the zip pouch because I'm always pulling it out of my luggage at my dad's house. <laughs> <laughs> um, I was bummed they didn't do a tote this time like they did last time because I can't really make that crossbody hobo thing work for me the, with the wide strap with the big knot on your shoulder that where you can adjust the length I, I can never make that work for me I bought that and then I had to return it um, but I do love the zip pouches and um, this with this pattern there's the regular size zip pouch and then um, on the New Hope Girl, you can get the the zip the regular zip pouch on the Vera website, um, and you could also get it on the New Hope Girls website. But on the New Hope Girls website, they were also had a mini um, size pouch, so I I jumped on that too, and so um, I got both of them, and I can show them. Uh, you know, I just want to mention because the last time, it must have been, you know, like a year ago now or whatever, and, and in subsequent videos after I made my first one about New Hope Girls, I read the hang tag just like you do whenever there's some kind of special edition and you read the information on the hang tag in your video. We all do that. <laughs> um, and I just wanted to speak a little bit about the language here because it, I do find a little vague, which was my frustration with... Uh, the rainbow, what I call the rainbow tote, which I think was like the all love tote. That, that tote um, done with the embroidered rainbows, that's so great. Um, which, you know, the the literature on that, on the website, on the Vera website was very vague. Now I understand this is the New Hope Girls uh, hang tag and, and this language from their website. But I do think still they're a little vague and I feel like I so I, I went online to do a little bit more reading about uh, the New Hope Girls and the issues that they are trying to combat um, because I feel like uh, my feeling is always let's let's call things by their name. Let's say things out out loud in the daylight clearly um, rather than be vague. Because that's the only way to affect change, I feel like. Um, because there's some language on here about, you know, helping women from the darkest places. And I always kind of said to myself, well, what are those darkest places? What are we talking about here? You know, I can, I can imagine stuff, <laughs> but tell me what you're talking about. And so I found what they're talking about. And, um, you know, they're talking about, well... They, they do employ women so that women can who are in extreme poverty have a better chance of being able to house themselves and care for their children and not lose their children. Uh, they help procure birth certificates, um, which I guess makes it easier at some point for children to uh, people to get work and to make that makes them less vulnerable to trafficking in some way. I don't know all the details about that. Um, but they are what they are fighting is. Uh, human slavery, sex trafficking, abuse, and just a, de a general degradation and disregard for women in the community. This organization is based in the Dominican Republic. So I just felt like it was important to say those words out loud is what we're talking about. You know, horrific things. Um, <laughs> so um, rather than just say, you know, these dark places. Let's shine some light into those dark places, and that's what they're doing. Um, hi, sweet girl. Hi. <laughs> so, um, 
So I will, okay, I know. So I will read the hang tag, and these are handmade by women in the Dominican Republic, and they have these hang tags, personalized hang tags, with a, a photograph of each woman and the name. I don't know if literally that person made this particular um, item, but I assume these are really women who are working with the organization. So this one, I'm not going to be able to read this woman's name, Awanda. <laughs> Hello, Wanda. She has a nice smile. So, you know, it gives you a little bit of a blurb about each person, and then there's some more information on the back. So, um, just real quick, I won't read every hang tag, I'll, I'll give the names, but this one says, Wanda is an overcomer who persistently cares for and encourages the other women in the workshop. She was convinced long ago that New Hope Girls product would reach international markets. She believes that every bag sold is one step closer to victory for each and every life that New Hope Girls touches. Um, so like the other collaboration, which was why I really, you know, just bought a slew of these, was that a, a larger percent of the purchase price goes to, uh, to New Hope Girls in the DR. Um, whereas I felt like Vera Bradley wasn't giving as high a percentage of the sales price for other with other collaborations. Um, but it's only for a, a certain window of time, which same as the last round. So you got to, if you want your 75% of your purchase price to go to the New Hope Girls, you got to buy it by a certain time. 75% of the purchase price for this special style supports New Hope Girls, a Dominican Republic-based nonprofit that provides rescue, refuge, and restoration to girls and women arising from the darkest and most difficult places. That was the language that always sort of made me pause and say, okay, well, what are we really talking about here, please? Um, so you've got through July 5th of this year. 75% of the purchase price goes to the chip, to the organization. After that, I don't know what happens. You know, I don't know whether they give any or none or what. So this pattern, <laughs> this pattern is called Rainforest Canopy Navy. It's sort of related to that wide lanyard I've been showing with the parrots in it. It's not, it's not exactly the same, but it's kind of related. Uh, and they showed us this pattern in the focus group a while back, and I, and I love anything that looks tropical. And it has those, I think these are actually true monstera leaves, which I was talking about in my last video uh, with the seawater blooms pattern. This was the kind of leaf that I was talking about. Um, that, that, that other, that this, that this, Kind of reminded me of, but this is the actual closer to what this leaf actually looks like. I think it's monstera. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, there's another tropical plant name. It's sort of in the back of my mind that I can't, can't, I can't, doesn't quite come to mind yet. It might be that. I'm not sure. But anyway, um, anything tropical, I'm going to be all over because I'm a hot weather person. I'm very Mediterranean. <laughs> Anything under 80 degrees is just uncivilized to me, so I was going to be all over this. And as soon as I saw it had birds in it, which it does, it has uh, cockatoos in it, I, I was all over it. And then when they were sh they showed us this in the pattern survey in the focus group, I noticed the monkeys. And I the monkeys just creep me out. <laughs> I think it might also have to do with the proportions there. There, it's an odd sort of fantasy-like proportion of this pattern, where the monkeys are real tiny and uh, the birds are tiny and the leaves are super big. You know, everything is very distorted and dreamlike as far as the proportions. And so I couldn't get past the monkeys, and I was saying, well, if this is ever made in a bag, I'm going to try to avoid the monkeys at all costs. <laughs> but then when I ordered them. I immediately, you know, that the the crazy critter lady in me was like, please let me get all the critters. I want all the critters. I don't care if they're monkeys or what. <laughs> and it paid off because I got great bags. I am so happy with these bags. Um, this one is great. Got the cockatoo there and a monkey there. Uh, there are a couple of monkeys in this. I, I, I would imagine there's probably more than one parrot, too, more than one cockatoo. Um, but here's one of the monkeys. Here's an, 
another one on the back. So they're in different positions throughout the pattern. And you know, this is just this 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 coral kind of flamingo color is just great. Now I know they're calling it navy and people are going to say oh the background is navy. To me the background reads black. However, and the lining, people are saying the lining could be navy. To me, the lining looks black. Um, I, I'm one of those people, I get, you know, I get, I get comments on my, uh, especially when I did like Itsy Jitsy, everyone was saying the background is navy. I get people leaving me comments, the background is navy. I, it's black to me. It looks back, black to me. I'm, you know, I'm just telling you how it looks to me. Um, but there are these other elements in blue, very delicate, almost lacy looking. Um, see if I can find it. Yeah, here. It's a good one. That have blue in them, and it is distinctly blue. Um, and that is almost why I think the background is really black, is so that these lighter, these other colors can read on it. And so you can see there, it's multicolor, like pink, and uh, this sort of navy blue, and the green uh, sort of delicate almost like dot work there in that pattern and that part those leaf that leaf work and that's a good shot of the uh, one of the cockatoos right there love the palm fronds this kind of looks uh here's another monkey on this one and this one has a bird on the back Get another version of that leaf and that palm frond. I mean, that that's gorgeous. Another monkey there. Really, I really just lucked out with these monkeys and the birds. I'm trying to, there's a piece on here. Oh, here it is, right here on this one. This one doesn't have anything on the front. It does have a monkey and a different monkey on the back, which I'll show. This is kind of interesting. Almost, almost thistle-like. No, I'm not. I'm not saying it is a thistle. It probably isn't. It's probably some kind of tropical thing, but it reminds me of thistle, which I love, just graphically. You know, been nice with that with this fan, you know, splaying of the palm fronds. And here we get another another monkey. What's nice about this print? It's very inky looking, you know, it's very saturated looking. Uh, it might be blowing out a little bit here because of my light, but uh, it, it really has a, a very inky, uh, saturated look the, with the black background and these, you know, deep coral and pink, this like flamingo and, you know, pink cockatoo kind of colors. Um, so I'm really pleased with these, and this hang tag, well, this isn't a hang tag, but it came with, in one, in the, these I ordered from Vera Bradley, the smaller ones I ordered directly from New Hope Girls, and that's, this came with that. It says, Rescuing, rescuing Girls Empowering Women, it is our privilege to work with girls and women in the Dominican Republic for the purpose of seeing their identity restored as they step into who they were created to be. We have both a safe house for girls and workshop for women. Our heart for transformation and healing is foundational to the work we do each day. And then, you know, it has all their um, contact information and website and social media stuff. And I thought, you know, when I first was ordering this with the other um, pattern, I thought this big leather label would bug me. But it doesn't, actually. It's kind of growing on me, and I feel like it goes with the whole feel of this fabric, which is kind of like a slub kind of cotton. I mean, I'm not sure if it's cotton cotton, but it's a, kind of a slub. It's got that slub kind of texture, a coarser texture, uh, almost, almost like canvas, but it's... I don't really, it's not canvas, it's got this weave in it, a slub kind of weave in there. You can see it in there. So there's some variation of thicknesses of the thread. So that's a slub. Monkey. Again, you can see more of that dot work there. 
and the lighter, the blue color. You know, I prefer a patch that isn't dark inside, but you know, um, it doesn't matter. And I, I use these for various things. I have two on my nightstand back there. One, I just keep all of Duke's collars and tags uh, in because I always want them near me and sometimes I even travel with that pouch so it just makes it easy for me to grab it and have it. And I also have all my work. That's what I use to, I just grab this one I take to my dad's. It's got pens and paper clips and post-it notes. And I put them, you know, I've got the paper clips in sort of a zipper, a Ziploc, like snack baggie, and then I have my pens in a different baggie, zipper, plastic zipper baggie, because um, I have some pencils in there and I don't want the lead from the pencils to, you know, write on the fabric, because um, it's light, it's a light color in that, in the Rosie Garden picnic. Um, <clears throat> And that it works really well. I mean, it just fits pens and, and stuff fit in here perfectly. And so it's been working really well. I have another one that I keep like, um, you know, tech accessories, like external drives uh, and uh, other things I have to plug into my computer. Um, so, you know, it's, you can just find any number of, of uses for them. So they are the, it is the pleather uh, pull tie which is kind of a bummer but it's got this little leather loop there which you could clap if you had a lobster something uh, something with a lobster claw clasp and you wanted to hook it through there you probably could this one this is great this this really this I, I know I just showed this but this monkey on this these leaves with the inky black details really does have that inky quality I'm talking about and <laughs> it says thistle on the back or whatever this is on the back too I find that now I cannot I'm going to date myself here but this just makes me think of uh shock the monkey <laughs> Peter Gabriel song I can't can't get it out of my head now and I just came back from grocery shopping and I was listening to that in the car because I had just gotten these and I had just uh, unwrapped the package and I was so excited to get monkeys even though I had been saying in the focus group oh my god the monkeys creep me out well, I have to eat my words because I'm getting a kick out of the monkeys and if these were cotton now uh that they were making bags, I would buy them and not worry about monkeys at all. In fact, I probably would want the monkeys. <laughs> Shock the monkey! <laughs> I crack myself up. <laughs> That's a good song. That is a good uh, song. Is that from the 80s now? Oh, God, I'm old. <laughs> I think it was the 80s. Could have been the very early 90s. I bet you it was more the 80s. 80s, 89 maybe? 90? No, probably. God, I remember listening to that as a freshman in college. Uh, that was painful. <laughs> anyway, I have to eat my words. I do not mind the monkeys. I get a kick out of the monkeys. I do think it is weird. The proportions are all weird, but I am feeling like it's very dreamlike, and so I, I'm, I'm so pleased. I mean, I ordered two of each because I wanted birds, and I just feel like, you know, I just hit the jackpot here. Very pleased. Um, yeah, just, just great. So you can see the difference in the size. Yeah, they're the same height. I do have a tape measure here. And then I just want to show one other thing real quick, which is not New Hope Girls, but it's Vera. Um, hmm. Somebody chewed the ends of my tape measure. <laughs> Dogs, especially Rosie. I'm looking at you, Rosie, with the eyes on the back of my head. It's about nine. The, the regular size one is about nine long and maybe about four, three and a half, four, you know, top to bottom. But this one, this, the mini one, it's about six and a half. Yeah, wider than I would have thought. It's about, it's about six and a half this way. You know, it's hard, it's sort of hard to be exact because they're a little poofy, you know, they're, they're, you know, they're not crisp. The edges are not crisp. 
And so that's that. Really pleased with that. And I really wish they had uh, done a tote. I would be all over a tote in this. I mean, maybe they'll come out with something else in it. I don't know. Because this wasn't up on the site originally. When I, you know, when they, they made it in a patchwork version, which I'm sure people are aware of, and it sold out. I was never interested in that patchwork one. Um, too random what fabrics you're going to get. Uh, I, I'm a little too OCD for that. <laughs> um, but I noticed when I went on to the, uh, so it was the patchwork one had sold out on the Vera website, so I went over to the New Hope Girls just to see what was going on over there, and they had some still. They were still available when I looked. I think they've since sold out. Um, so just, you know, put in the back of my mind, put the idea in the back of my mind and just always keep looking at their, uh, website offerings too. And then I eventually saw this. This wasn't up there. The first time I went to look for this in the patchwork version, just to see what was going on over there. Um, uh, this wasn't there. It was only later when I went back later to look. So who knows, maybe they'll throw something else up there if stuff is selling. I don't know. But I do like that, that, I do like that, um. A tote I use I have a couple of them actually um, and I, I have one I keep stuff in the back of my car so the other thing um, that I got were and this is these are things I would never I mean this is I would never pay this much for this kind of an item really uh, but I, I couldn't resist it was best in show and it's for the puppies so uh, I justified it and these are handy to have and I actually am not crazy about the one that I do have I have a fabric collapsible travel bowl uh, for the dogs to give them water when we're out on a long walk um, but this seemed like something neat where it stays attached it unzips around big plastic zipper and it's best in show of course hard to resist for me and you get this side-by-side -side, uh, food and water dish, or I guess you can put water in both. But I got two, one for each dog, just because, you know, that's what you do when you have two dogs. <laughs> Everybody has to have the same thing. Uh, and so, you know, uh, I think this will work out well. And they, see, they stay open better than the one that I have, which is sort of angled with a wider base and narrower opening. Probably to give it some secure, uh, you know, sturdiness so that a dog doesn't easily flip it over um, when when drinking out of it. But makes it a little bit hard, especially for Rosie, who's smaller, to actually get in there. And it's dark inside. It's black inside. And so it's a little hard for them, I feel like. It's not so easy to access the stuff inside. I think this will do better. I mean, we'll see. We'll see how sturdy these walls are because they don't feel as sturdy as the other one that I have, which I will keep, you know, but, um, we'll see how it goes. It's the only pet thing from their pet stuff that I ordered. I mean, I think the beds are super cute, but they say they're not machine washable. I don't know. I mean, you probably could take a chance and wash them, but I don't know that I would want to throw something like that in my laundry machine and I'm not, there's no way I'm lugging myself to a laundromat. And the other things just weren't of interest to me. The I didn't think the collar was anything interesting. The pattern, the tennis balls, the bandana. I noticed there was a, a tote to carry a dog in. I want, I'm not sure if she would fit in that or if she's just a little too big. So that was sort of interesting, but um, I was thinking maybe I could throw her in a backpack <laughs> in an emergency if I had to. So that's what this is. The it's called the Pet Travel Bowl, best in show, and it has also a little um, lobster tab with a lobster claw clasp, so you can hook it on to stuff. Maybe your leash, you know, any kind of metal ring on your leash or or metal ring on a bag, you know. So and the zipper works well. You know, the zipper works well. Very easy to prop up and, and then fold back in. So I'm pleased with that. But overpriced. Overpriced. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyway, that was it. Just my, my mini New Hope Girls haul because I was so pleased with my pattern placement. Um, anyway, thanks so much for watching and hopefully see you next time on Beer Bradley Bag of the Day.